the WWE Universe on their feet. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, accompanied by the strongman, Mark Henry, representing the nation of domination. From Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 268 pounds, D-Low Brown! This right here is a no-nonsense superstar. More like a no-respect superstar. They should thank the higher-ups once in a while. Don't you call yourself the savior of misbehavior? This isn't about me. That's neither here nor there, Cole. team that represents their Latino culture openly and proudly. They become a family of sorts, Michael. They win together, they lose together, but they always fight together. A truly dazzling aerialist, Cruz Del Toro moves with an uncanny agility and speed. Most opponents actually have a hard time just keeping track of him. Yeah, Del Toro soars off the ropes and is quick as lightning on his feet. He's so comfortable in the ring that he's able to move with incredible confidence. Once Del Toro takes off, it's best to clear out. You're the one who's in for a rough landing. Coming into this fight, his opponent's been boasting a new, more aggressive attitude. We'll have to see if that new approach will produce any dividend. Intimidation. I'm not sure if it's resilience or stupidity that's going to drive you to try and come back from a move like that. Placing them into the corner. Oh, compressed in the corner. Cover! A kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. Staying in this one. Sequence of reversals here. Both superstars clearly studied game tape ahead of time. He avoids the damage. Oh. Oh, whip whoa, whoa. The ring. And uh oh, the manager getting involved. Better keep your head on a swivel. Yeah, very chaotic scene here in this match. Oh, good. See you later. Good. There's Both no ejected. reason for these two managers to be at ringside in the first place. Get them out of here. The playing field is even. Here we go. Referee takes control. Boom! Devastating clotheslines. And the calf kick. And he goes for the pin. And a kick out at two. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. Oh. Powered them up. No. Here come the punches. Cruz is going to look to press on the advantage. Cruz is tired of being pushed around. He wants to gain the advantage now. With this level of hostility, it was only a matter of time before we saw it reach this point. Yeah, Corey, the raw bitterness between them is almost palpable. Standing Spanish fly, are you kidding me? Incredible. Off the top. Oh, the diving arm drag. Unbelievable athleticism. There's incredible impact with every man. Top rope. Del Toro, 450. Del Toro putting all those tools to good use. Really making the most of his opportunity. You have to think this bat, this 
was on and over. Take it in. Oh, he kicked out. Very close. The T clearly set again. Gets him with the counter. Cruz is going to look to press on the advantage. Cruz got tired of being pushed around. He wants to gain the advantage now. Oh, man, drop kick. He's falling victim here to a charge of attacks. Yeah, and every attempt to fight back is being negated. right into the corner. Oh, and he answers back on Cruz. He's looking to get back in this. Now's the chance for him to get back into this match. Gonna carry it around. Bad spot to be in. Oh, my God. Face first. Elbow drop. The Houston. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Coming back into the ring, back to the action. <laughs> Reigns down an elbow in retaliation. Kick to the face. Del Toro has him staring at the lights. Makes the cover. He kicked out of two. He's taking some serious hurt, but somehow he's still I think he managed that kick out on pure instinct alone. That was the one shot. He may get the three count right here. I think so. No, he gets the shoulder up. Getting that shoulder up now is huge. Ridiculous standing shooting star. This match is brutality starting to shoot. Close line. And a second. This superstar building momentum. Sweeping the line. Things are looking up. Bottom rope moonsault on the mark. For the win! Two! Stopping the refs count at two. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. Letting his opponent know he can take on the world right now. Taking it outside the ring now. Big four. Caught with a punch. We're undoubtedly nearing the end. I don't want to say he's done, but I can hear the fat lady warming up. back into the ring. Just come off the cover. Is it enough? Kicks out. He still has life. This is going to come down to who wants it more. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. After all we've seen, these men are still not finished. There's a fire burning inside these competitors that won't take him flat. He paid for that one. Oh, man, big time. Listen to this place. It's unreal. The decibel level in here right now is breaking glass. These fans are on fire. Shoulders up before two. These one counts are going to get harder and harder. Once again, Del Toro has him stuck at the lights. For sure this thing was wrapped up. Well, stay in your seat. Looks like we've got a ways to go yet. How draining was that? Can it be done from the top? Catches nothing but air. Man, what a hit. Elbow drop. The 
Pearson. this crowd. Well scouted reversal there. Jack face first. Here it comes. The WWE Universe standing at attention, completely entranced by this matchup now. Setting up again. That one fails to land. Missed the mark. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Sight set on the top rope. Sidestep it. Oh, shot right to the kidney. The electric chair down for the drop.
stand back. There's a hurricane coming through. The hurricane has made landfall. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, weighing in at 215 pounds, the Hurricane. Hey, you guys remember when he beat The Rock? What's up with that? Nothing, you idiot. It was pure luck and some distraction by a certain rattlesnake. his freakish power and crazy athleticism. Make no mistake about it, this man truly rocks. And they don't call him big for nothing. And the Hurricane considers himself a real-life superhero here to fight for what's wrong. According to him, evildoers in WWE should beware. You have to respect the Hurricane for standing up for what he believes in. Even when he's the underdog in the ring, which is most of the time, he fights with everything he's got and gives 100%. Good thing he has superpowers, right? The odds are often against him, but the Hurricane always keeps his spirits high. And with Big E, we are looking at someone as positive as they are powerful. That might not sound like a dangerous combination when combined, but believe me, it definitely is. Yeah, Big E's not someone to mess with. So even if he's laughing, you better pray you're in on the joke because you do not want to be on the wrong side of this powerhouse. Watch out! Somersault plunge out of the floor. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. Corey Biggie is such an imposing. And what he's looking for here looks like a potential submission maneuver coming. Well, this won't win the match, but it's one way to inflict the. How do you escape the abdominal stretch like that? to stay in this matchup. Right in the face. My God. A weather warning in effect. The WWE not allowing that to go on any longer. Being carried around with ease. Oh, he's got him down. Is this it? He kicks out instantly. That pin attack might have been a tad premature. And gets 
tossed back into the mat. Intercepts that attack with a knee right to the stomach. Unbelievable athleticism. That maneuver goes to show you how much speed kills. Shoulders are down. Two and a kick out. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. Hurricane now going high risk. Sky high. Oh, 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 oh. compressing them with goes into the pin. There's two. Biggie digging deep for the kick out. He really thought that was it. Oh, boy. I think I heard the words. Stand back. under immense pressure. This is what happens when Big E loses that focus. Who knows if he'll be able to get back. Oh, boy. I think I heard the words. Stand back. Wait a minute. Setting in. Devastating submission coming. Abdominal stretch. It's locked in. This is a abdominal stretch. Fighting out of it. That's one way to get out of it. Just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. Big E looks like a sitting duck right now. A sack, Matt Slam. Now the Hurricane has the firm upper hand. Big E has run into a roadblock. Take off. The Hurricane has his sights on the target. Just like that, Big E finds a counter. Oh. Run up. Uh oh. But right hands create separation and an escape. Oh no, he can be caught here. Bad spot for him. And the rope set him there. But will he be able to last much longer? Carry takeover. Big E has lost any momentum here. Yeah, impressive offense from the Hurricane. say three ain't enough, but clearly that goes both ways. As close as it was, the Hurricane has got to be focused on keeping from the top. Oh, the virus doesn't pay off. A terribly risky move, and it did not pay off. It was called down the We continue to see incredible perseverance from these competitors. The war continues to rage on with no superstar willing to give an inch. He slides him back to the mat. A set mat slam. That's gonna be it. Two. A big celebration, a massive win tonight. Hard fought victory, incredibly physical matchup, but earned the right to celebrate here tonight. Wait, this is more fun than celebration. Oh, this from behind. More fun. This is classless. Oh, steel steps. Come on.
accompanied by Scott Hall, representing the Outsiders from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 328 pounds, Kevin Nash! Gentlemen, this has all the makings of an all-time classic match, and I fully expect it to deliver on that promise. He said he'll steal the show here tonight, and he looks more than ready to deliver on that promise. Imperium has arrived. A united group with one unwavering mission to prove that the mat is sacred. And his opponent, accompanied by Ludwig Kaiser, representing Imperium from South Tyrol, Italy, weighing in at 220 pounds, Giovanni Vinci! It's amazing, guys. Everything about Imperium runs like clockwork. Yeah, they walk in lockstep, exhibit teamwork. There are zero holes in the game of Imperium. And it's a testament to their mission statement. The mat is sacred. Look at that formation. Completely in sync like a finely tuned watch. When it comes to in-ring competitors, Giovanni Vinci is just about as polished and intimidating as they come. He's an impeccable physical specimen with a very serious attitude. The only thing more impressive than Vinci's raw power is how deftly he controls it. He lands hammering blows with expert precision. He's not someone to be taken lightly to between the ropes. Yeah, well-rounded competitor who has all the physical ability you could ask for and the callous will to put it to devastating use. And with a guy like Kevin Nash, you know that he cares about getting the win at any cost. He gets paid to dominate his opponent, Saxton, and dominate he does. It's like an SUV falling on you. He heads outside, count outs legal in this match. Caught the leg. He moves just in time. Nash, of course, is a big, big man, and that will definitely benefit him tonight. Yeah, and if you ask Nash, bigger is absolutely better. But that's not all. This match continues on. Well, this matchup has been. Here we go. Bang! Bolt down, middle of the ring. Wait, hold on. The, the managers are going at it now. This is insanity. Good. Good job, referee. And you too. Referee clears the ringside, and now neither competitor has anyone in their corner. Maybe this will be a fairer fight now? Uh, it definitely cuts down on the distractions moving forward. His shoulders are down! Why, I thought Kevin Nash wasn't going to kick out. That was a long two count there. Giovanni looking like he means business right now. I wouldn't want to mess with him. Kicked in the face.
Ricci. Spinning sit out power bomb. Vinci stamping an end to this. Two. He stays alive. He stays alive. Nash is tapped deep into his reserve to kick out of that one. Big sexy still in this. I've lost count of how many times this match should have ended by now. Small in the back. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Looking to apply an agonizing arm bar stretch. Oh, he's looking a little off balance. <laughs> Saw it coming and got out of there. And Vinci gets that set right back to him. Oh, he's got him here. He's got him up. And power with a sidewalk slam. Big. For the pin and the win. Yes. One, two, a kick one. at it, too. What a match. <laughs> oh, Nash counters. Power oh, slam incoming. No. Expected that. Nice down kick, great elevation. Dominating shoulder tackle. Big back body drop. Into a mad slam. Taking this to the floor. Uh oh. to finish this off. Way up. Jack Knight, power bar. Right end it. Vinci's down, and he might be out. Amazing! Wait, are we sure that was not a three count? You can't count that high, Saxton, but that was one of the closest near falls you'll ever see. As devastating as Nash's maneuver was, it still wasn't enough, and they just tossed him aside. Targeting the arm to great effect. And Giovanni's resigned. Sexy. Those excellent brawling skills are paying off for Nash right now. Oh, look at the squeeze. It's on like a vice grip. Oh, that just looks nasty. Oh, strong impact. Isolating the leg. Leg breaker. That had to hurt. Wheels are turning and Nash's head. Oh, no. These superstars' bodies must be racked with excruciating pain. This is the true testament. Who can dig down, pull the lever, and become the aggressor? What the leg? Look at this. She just tossed the leg. Oh, he's got him here. He's got him up. And sidewalk slam. Losing in this.
The raiding party has arrived. Here comes destruction. The following is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 552 pounds, Ivar and Eric, the Viking Raiders. The raid has begun. The modern day Vikings are here to pillage the competition. Looking hungry tonight. Hungry and scary. Here comes Master Gable. And our opponents, first representing the Alpha Academy from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable. Chad Gable is a gold medalist who went to the next level as a member of the Alpha Academy. despite his catchphrases. Now we've seen this guy deadlift men more than double his size on multiple occasions. Gable is more than proven he's a legitimate threat in that ring. gentlemen, but I think Orton might have actually loosened up a little recently. It's more of a relaxed confidence. Randy Orton knows he's at the top of the game. Yeah, but let's not forget, Randy Orton can still go to that dark place when he has to. And you don't want Orton going old school on you. Randy Orton is one of the most vicious competitors we've ever seen. I agree, Saxon, and his venom is as potent as ever. Orton knows how to debilitate any opponent. Once the fangs come out, Orton aims for the kill. The Viking Raiders looking to make their presence known in this match here tonight. Uh, I don't think their presence is ever questioned, Cole. From their entrance to the ring of the belt, the Viking Raiders are all gas and no bricks. I don't know if anyone can match the sort of intensity that Eric and Ivar possess. If he had let me finish, Corey, that's where I was going. But to add to our point, it's not just the imagery that establishes the Raiders' presence, but also their unbelievable athleticism. Each team looking to make an impact, looking to shake up the landscape of the tag team division. Well, I'll take it one step further, Saxton. These teams have a goal of dominating the division. Just broken something. And Gable's lesson plan just got thrown off. Yeah, as that was that aggressiveness we talk about when it comes to the Viking Raiders. He gets tagged in. Mistake made by Ivar. Oh. Jaw. 
All right, pump handle. Pump handle coming. Pump handle suplex. Uh oh. Great reversal. On the attack from behind. Jetbreaker. Uh oh. Ankle pick. Beautiful takedown. Oh, knee crusher. That's going to hurt. There's the tag. Oh, what a close line. Forcefully delivered. Probably not going to win for a couple hundred years, Byron. You know why? Because the Billy Goats way to flip the course. Set up in the corner of the ring. Big elbow. Chad Gable with the tag. to the Viking Raiders looks stifled there. Excellent example of the wrestling knowledge Gable possesses.
He is delivering elbow after elbow. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Face first. Stop it away. in his favor. He's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Eric! Oh, Eric! Kick to the spine. No doubt Eric ended this. Effectively using the knee. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Snapmare takedown. And the fight keeps being brought to Eric. Pivotal time now for Eric. He needs to get out of danger. In full control here. Face full of turnbuckle. More than just war paint now dripping on the face of Eric. Splatter suplex into the corner. Some late fire. 
This match is reaching a tipping point, and Chad can feel it. Chad getting the German suplex not done yet, has not released. Oh, still claps around the waist. A second German suplex. Eyeballs in big, big trouble. Makes the call. Oh, was close. This match continues. Comes in off the tag. Oh, close line. Oh, caught by the back elbow. Pulls their opponent in. Belly to belly. Orton getting ready. Look out! Can't quite get him there. And look at from back, suplex. Very nice. Oh, tossed him into the ring post. Three, four. In control here with a swinging neck breaker. Textbook. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Tag is made, and he's coming in hot. Caught in a bad position here. Driven down the face first. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. He's lost some of his win now. And they really struggled there to meet the intensity of the Viking Raiders. Setting up here, Corey. Here we go. Stopped them in their tracks with a kick to the gut. Oh, a kick right to the gut. Yeah, another one. Oh, that's to follow. When you're in an atmosphere like this, when you can't hear yourself think because the crowd's so loud, you find a way to do superhuman things. That's what these combatants are doing here. Chad Gable with the tag. Tag is registered. What a clothesline! Ouch! Knee straight to the neck. Eric slowly rising to what may be his demise. such an extraordinary match tonight. Whoa. Oh my gosh! With one hand! Big time power! Eric in the corner. A chance to breathe. This can't be how Randy Orton envisioned this match going. He's going for it all. And a drop kick. Picture perfect. Grueling 
matchup. And look who's here. Ah, oh, some taunting going on. Future matchup, perhaps? I'd say that's a highly likely possibility. And here comes one of my favorites. The following contest is a fatal four-way match and is for the ECW Heavyweight Championship. Introducing the challenger from Brooklyn, New York, weighing in at 248 pounds, the World Wrestling Intercontinental Champion, Remember, guys, the title is on the line here in this one. And I don't remember the last time the champ was in this much jeopardy, Cole. Tonight might just be the night the title changes hands. Things are about to get good. And introducing the challenger from Pennsylvania, weighing in at 245 pounds, Steve Blackman. This is a big time opportunity, Byron, as the title will be on the line here. You're right, Michael, and judging from the response on social media heading into this match, we're likely to see a new champ crown here tonight. The challenger about to compete in a career-altering championship match. He is ready. And here he comes. And introducing the challenger from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 274 pounds, the total package, Lex Luger. Remember, guys, the title is on the line here in this one. And I don't remember the last time the champ was in this much jeopardy, Cole. Tonight might just be the night the title changes hands. This is a man who makes the most of every opportunity, and this is his biggest opportunity ever. The third man has arrived. The undisputed leader of the New World Order. And introducing the champion, representing the NWO from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 302 pounds, the ECW Heavyweight Champion, Hollywood Hogan. This man changed sports entertainment history on July 7th, 1996. Oh, that night broke my heart. Hulk Hogan turned his back on WCW, his Hulkamaniacs, and all of his allies to form the New World Order. No longer about saying your prayers and taking your vitamins, Byron. I guess if you ask Hollywood Hogan, the reality is that those will only take you so far. Now Hogan feels like he needs to bend the rules to get ahead. No, 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 no. Hogan is simply no longer bound by the rules, Saxton. Hulk Hogan cannot be stopped. Unmatched success in sports entertainment. Unmatched box office power and unmatched physique. Cole, what?
what you're going to do when Hollywood runs wild on you. You can see it in the eyes of each individual. Only razor sharp focus when this much is on the line. Four superstars in hostile competition. The MO of a fatal four-way match. No friends in a fatal four-way. You gotta look out for number one. Oh, he's raking the back. All's fair in love and war, gentlemen. I saw nothing but effective offense. Smart strategy. 
Reggie attacked the knee. Boom! What a white coach. Oh, check out this power. This is ridiculous. Dollars! Power slam! He's turning the tables. Going for a pin for the championship. Now back to Hogan. Oh, could have predicted the lengths these superstars would go to to steal the show tonight. Now that's what you call impact. Oh, Jack and submission. It is cinched in deep. An extreme. We have a brand new champion fulfilling their destiny. Here is your winner. And new ECW Heavyweight. to the occasion and is adding champion to his resume. Here we go, guys. The following contest is a fatal four-way match and is for the ECW Television Championship. Making his way to the ring from Japan, weighing in at 185 pounds, Ultimo the Dragon. Here we go, guys. We're going to finally have a champion after this one. And you have to imagine these superstars are feeling the pressure here. You don't come into a match of this magnitude without feeling it at least a little bit. All right, I love this guy. And his opponents. From Allentown, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 216 pounds, the World Wrestling Light Heavyweight Champion, Billy Kidman. So much on the line here tonight, guys, as we look to crown a new champion. That's right, Cole. We're guaranteed to have a new champion at the end of this one. It's not very often you can say that. I have to say, the level of pride he has in his game is truly impressive, guys. Yeah, he's about as proud as a peacock, Michael. And you know what? He has every right to be. Oh, oh, oh. are you guys ready? to you, Cole, but part of me wishes Gorilla Monsoon was here for this match, just so we can hear him say, history has been made at the conclusion. I'll tell you, you don't see him make many mistakes inside the ring, guys. No, you don't, Michael, and that's because he truly is one of the most disciplined superstars in all of the WWE right now. We are about to see something good. And from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 174 pounds. Here we go, guys. We're finally going to crown a new champion here tonight. Cole, this match right here is the absolute definition of history making. Whoever wins this will forever have their name in WWE history books. And that's really saying something. Byron, he certainly seems to be showing more pride of late, wouldn't you say? I would, Michael, but he's got to be careful. There are more than a few whispers backstage about that pride possibly bordering on arrogance.
Anytime this title is defended, it's a big fight field. Corey, what should be the game plan in this type of match? A plan should be in place to isolate and eliminate the most dominant force in the match, and then the remaining three competitors do battle until there's a win. It makes sense to create a three-on-one situation, but be careful if that superstar finds their way back into the match. They will be out for retribution. Remember the rules of this matchup, the first superstar game pinball submission will pick up the victory. And misses on the springboard. Nice head kick, great elevation. Kick and sent all the way to the outside. Look out! Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. Oh my God, what a kick! Standing shooting star, plus incredible. It's incredible the inventiveness we are seeing on display here. Has to benefit a certain type of superstar more than others, doesn't it, Corey? Get yeah, off your high horse, Cole. And no disqualification match benefits the superstar who's smarter, faster, and better. Using the rules to your advantage doesn't make you the villain here. Power slam! You have to be in peak physical condition to pull off a move with that much weight behind it. We just saw a human being talk like that. Uh-oh, look at this. Nelson applies. And it's suplex. He's getting a little better now. Both arms captured. And vitriolic stops. Absolutely brutal. Ruthless. Your 
this match to go on much longer than it has to. literally fatal, but it was pretty close. Take a look. Here is your winner. Hello! ECW Television Champion. He won the match and the championship with it. He dug deep into his offensive arsenal and played defense at the right time. And now the title is his. Here comes Big Bronson Reed. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Black Forest, South Australia. Weighing in at 330 pounds, Bronson Reed. The Kaiju of WWE, Big Bronson Reed. He has been on an absolute tear as of late. We've seen him beat some big names, compete in some major matches. I think it's just a matter of time before Bronson really hits it big. Gentlemen, big Bronson Reed is ready to claw through the competition. And I don't think anyone can stop him. The game has arrived. The cerebral assassin ready to engage in warfare. This is gonna be good. Decade, we have seen this man's dominance grow from a blue blood to a degenerate to a multiple time WWE champion. Indeed, Triple H has solidified himself at the top of the food chain in WWE, and he has no plans on stepping down anytime soon. And I don't think anyone can take him down. From Degeneration X to Evolution, we have seen Triple H amass power in WWE, cultivating strength in numbers. But there's no more room under the learning tree of the Cerebral Assassin. Now he's all about earning the gold and glory for himself. Indeed, the game has never been more dangerous. Here we go with the man they call the game, Triple H. If it really is all about the game and how you play it, then nobody plays it better than Triple H. You got that right, Cole. That drive to achieve greatness has forged him into one of the shrewdest and most intelligent competitors we've ever seen here in WWE. And no doubt the game already has his first few moves for achieving victory planned out in this match. But he's got trouble on his hands in the form of Bronson Reed. This big man climbs into the ring with a simple objective in mind to inflict as much damage as humanly possible. And with his 330 pound frame and jaw dropping power, inflicting damage is pretty easy for Big Bronson Reed. 
You said it. We've seen Reed run a rough shot over the toughest competition. He doesn't care who you are or how strong you are. Bronson Reed is going to tear you apart. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. A uh, stop right to the gut. Whoa. Uh, ooh, bullseye. Look at this. Just unloading. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. And Triple H is stepping up. Up to the top rope now. This can't be good. They just missed wildly. Took the high risk, but unfortunately, no reward. Counters with an attack on Reed. Oh, well scouted by Reed. Two. Oh. Triple H is crafty as they come. You really have to keep your head on a swivel and maintain alert when you're in the ring with the game. That's right. Triple H always seems to be two steps ahead, but I do think you're onto something about keeping your head on a swivel. That's the only way to have a chance of avoiding falling victim to Triple H's preparedness. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing, and it could cost him. Neckbreaker! Uh-oh, position in. Measuring. And oh, knee drop! Woo! Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Now, look at his aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. That showed a complete lack of respect for your competition and for our sport. Try to break the leg. Oh my God! Makes the cover. Raising the arm before one. Not time to expect victory yet. That shot looks to have caused some bleeding from Triple H, producing a trampling. Able to interrupt the attack. Compromised position here. about finesse with that one I was only thinking about dominance delivering nasty stops and if the first stop doesn't send you the message the follow-up ones definitely will triple h dodges that one Captured, driven into the knee. 
Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, it is aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. Set it up. Nice neck breaker. And Reed is now in a demoralizing spot. And it is all about the game. Out thinking the cerebral assassin. Strike. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. Well placed, he dropped in the skull. Oh, he played for it all time. And only gets a one count. Still gonna take a massive effort to keep him down. And turning it into a mad slam. on the canvas. Oh, the elbow drop for added measure. Oh, man, what a headbutt. What punishment being dealt by Reed. The triple is somewhat scrambling here. Clearly not expecting his opponent to come as prepared to this matchup here tonight as he has. Right now, Triple H who needs to keep his head on the swivel. Counter upon counter. Great minds thinking alike. Look at this. She just tossed away. Reed about to come crashing down. Will that clinch things for Reed? Only two. The game has never been one to go down with a whimper, and this time is no different. I can't tell if it's anger in the eyes of the fact that he hasn't finished this, or if it's disbelief that his opponent is still in this. Triple H facing a beatdown. Rough spot for Triple H to be in. It has been a constant barrage from each of these competitors. Almost a hazardous amount of punishment has been dealt. It's got to be concerning. Clearly, neither man is worried about the oh. Lighten up the chest, and now straight to the knee. Across the shoulders. Down hard. in the waning moments of this match. Reed looking for a big finish. Knee straight to the gut, stays off the attack. Listen to this crowd. Arms hooked by the game. Can Reed come back from that? foreseeable future. I would definitely steer clear of him in the locker room after this loss.